Welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to show you how to download Syncroom. What is Syncroom? Syncroom is a program by Yamaha, a free program that allows musicians to practice or just perform together even if you can't meet each other face to face. Usually it's best when you have a 5G connection, LAN, and good microphones. But of course, we don't need that to try to use it. There may be a little bit of delay, and definitely if you're connecting to musicians from another country, it's going to be laggy, and you're going to experience some discomfort when you play. So let's get on right to it. First, you have to search for Yamaha Synchroom, and go to the Synchroom Yamaha website. So I'm just going to tell you which button to click. The one on the left is the blue one and it says download immediately. So when you click that, you're going to have um, the Windows one and the Mac one. So I'm a Windows user, I'll click the Windows one. And it comes in a zip file. If you don't have uh, any way to open zip files, uh, you need to get WinZip. I'll open this up. Right, press N, which means next. A for accept. N for next again. Choose your, the place you want to download Synchroom to. If you want to choose again, you press this one. And you select your directory. But most people will just be fine installing it to C. N for next. Now this one is if you want a full installation or a small installation. So. Small installation means they won't install the Yamaha Synchroom driver. If you want to play music and stream it to Discord or YouTube at the same time, you will need the Synchroom driver. But if you just want to play just for fun, then you don't need the Synchroom driver. There's actually no harm to install the Synchroom driver, except that when you open your sound devices, you're going to see one more uh, output device which is the Synchroom driver. Alright, press N for next. And of course, X allow it to install. And done. C for close. Uh, if you open Sync Room now, first thing they're going to ask you to do is sign in with your Yamaha account. So this is actually just uh, the terms. You need to press this to show that you accept the terms. And click this button, the longer one. You click it to go to the login site. Now, you can use your uh, email and all that, but I prefer to just use Facebook. So now that I'm signing in with Facebook, there will be this box is saying that you will return to Sync Room. So just click OK. And just like that, Sync Room now works. You can create your own room like this. Oh, but you need a name too. So let me just put TJ. So as long as you have a name, and you have a, a, a room name and a password if you want you can press the first button to create a room the second button is to join the room let's create a room first test room with a password test right nobody's going to be able to enter this room unless you tell them that there is a room called test room so then i click this button at the bottom left which means settings this button you can use to record and uh, see if your sound is being recorded. And the second button is to play a sound sample to see if you can hear other people. So firstly, I'm going to click this one, Wasapi. This one works for me, but it may not work for some people. You choose your device. I have a lot of devices, but mine is the one that says high definition audio device. So I set both to the high definition audio device. This is the delay that you receive. If you set a high delay, you will hear the other musicians to be late. And we don't want that. So we'll choose the lowest delay. Now we can press this button. And I hear a drum beat. I know that it's working fine. I can even lower this. The volume of this drum beat. And I can press this to check whether my mic is working. When I speak, you can see that the bar goes up, so I know that I'm just fine. If somebody tells me I'm too loud, I can lower this, and now I'm softer. So back to this. Alright, when you're all set up, on the right here, this should be one channel. 
If you have good internet, set this to be two channel. That's all. You press OK, and you will rejoin the room. In that case, I was in test room. You can invite your friends and tell them that there is a room named test room and a password test. Or you can press leave room. I can click this big button here to access the list of rooms on the Yamaha website. So a lot of people here with uh, rooms and uh, you want to click, to click this one to see the, this one sorry, to remove all the locks. So all you see are the public rooms. These are rooms that has no uh, password, means means they are public rooms. However, please don't be rude and simply join people's rooms because every room has rules. You can see the rules over here but it's in Japanese right so I'm going to translate this side like this with a Google translate app. all right so obviously um, when you see let's see there's one that says Japanese only so there are a lot of these rooms that say Japanese only uh, when you see these kind of rooms don't join them unless you are Japanese because not only not only is there a language barrier, but uh, they don't like the delay when you join from overseas. Join the ones that don't mention Japanese only. So temporary entry allows you to listen to the room. Enter the room allows you to uh, play with the musician. I'm going to use temporary entry. So they don't actually hear me. Press this to mute yourself. We can see that the first one here is the latency. And the second one is the smoothness of the connection. It's pretty bad because they live in Japan. And here you can see the overall rating of the connection. If the connection quality is too poor, you'll be kicked out like this. So you just go to find another room. Let's click this one. Temporary entry. Yeah. Alright now I'm just listening to him. I can lower his volume by sliding this down. There's also a panic feature which is useful if you have many people playing the same instrument. On the right side you can choose mono or stereo. Since most people's mics are mono anyway, I always choose the bottom option which is mono. Alright that's all with the Sync Room tutorial. If you have any questions, do send me a message or leave it in the comments. Enjoy!